Hello, I'm Karin Borst from the Netherlands. Hello, my name is Helene de Boer from Social Evaluator. My name is uh, <coughs> Antonio Caparros. I'm from Dominican Republic and I'm the Managing Director of uh, Fundación Inicia. My name is Anne Patrak. I come from Deutschland, from Düsseldorf, and I work for Pricewaterhouse. My name is Miriam Scher. I come from Frankfurt and I work also for Pricewaterhouse. Belgium. Liverpool. Julia Kotanovic-Konzinska, Foundation for Social and Economic Initiatives from Warsaw Forum. From Paris. Hello, Martin Echbrink, Netherlands. Good morning, Vincent van den Dries, uh, the Netherlands, mental health care. What do you think of uh, the last day and a half? I think it's been fantastic. We've had uh, well, kind of stressful getting this kind of thing organized. In a different country, we've had a German-English conference, which of itself has been super. We've had, I think, about 16 or so uh, countries represented, about 120 people here. Uh, I think it's been really fantastic. I think it's the bedrock now for um, a number of new national networks that you know, we've been working with to really push that out and start growing a much more distributed ownership of this idea. Mm -hmm. Brilliant. And what are some of the countries that had previously not been as involved who are now kind of stepping up and playing more of a role? Um, the, the recent kind of areas where we've seen much more interest in would be, for example, Japan. Mm -hmm. um, so a couple of years ago, even a year ago, wasn't recognizing or showing much interest. And over the last year, much more interest. Mm -hmm. And that's not... So it's those kind of countries which are now mm -hmm. coming through. But we have members in all sorts of places. It might just be one member. But um, I think there's someone here from the Dominican Republic, for example. We have one member there. But mm -hmm. they're really keen. They're an impact investor. They're really interested in this space. So mm -hmm. it's great. Um, so what, what's coming out of this? What will be some of the next things that will be announced by the SROI network? So I think the, the, the big things will be um, we're relaunching our database, voice database, the values, outcomes, indicators, stakeholders, voice. Mm -hmm. um, that's the, one of the big things there. We've got a guide um, on commissioning and how we use social return investment in public commissioning, which is um, being launched today as well. And one of the things we want to start um, this year will be a dialogue with the other kind of mainstream approach to accounting for value, which will be the financial approach that the financial accounting world mm -hmm. takes. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think we've had a conversation in our space about what we think about the value proposition is, but we need to now start going back to the more mainstream agencies and going, well, hang on, let's have a conversation about mm -hmm. how we've been doing this. Who, who will use, yeah? Who, who will use the voice database? Everybody and anybody, we hope. You know, if you're interested in knowing about change, about measurements of that, values, about, you know, and, and grounding that in people's experiences, then we hope that that will become a, a communal resource for everybody. Mm -hmm. You know, one of the most exciting things I thought was what Richard Spencer had to say about what the mainstream accounting field is, is doing. Could you give a quick recap of what you had to say about that? Not, no, not. <laughs> I can't Maybe we should remember. get him on video. <laughs> we should get, around. I mean, I think his, one of the things that Richard was saying in the, yesterday from the accounting perspective was about trust. Mm -hmm. I think that was really important that there has been a loss of trust in a variety of worldwide structures, whether it's business or government or mm -hmm. whatever. And we, we need to rebuild that. And part of that has got to be trust that the information that our society provides us to make decisions is trustworthy. You know, it's, mm -hmm. it's good. And I think there is uncertainty growing uncertainty about that. And I would hope that the conversations that we're starting to have around social value uh, are part of rebuilding that, that trust. Mm -hmm. uh, and hopefully not just the conversations, but the work that people are absolutely. skilled at doing yeah, because absolutely. of this effort. Yeah. Um, so what what makes you most excited? Oh, she's happy we can finish. Okay. <laughs> just give me one, one more thought. What, what, you know, you travel the world, you're seeing this movement going on all over the place. What makes you feel invigorated about doing the work that you're doing? That number of people who are passionate about this, who recognize it's an issue. And, you know, it's an um, honor, really, to be able to get out, travel around the world, talk to people who want to talk about a similar thing and feel equally passionate about it. And mm -hmm. That, that is becoming more, more of an international conversation and people are finding ways to make that real and learn and become better at it is, is the bit that keeps getting me out of bed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Good. Good. I can ask you five more things. I know you know. I'll you give them a break. Stop now. <laughs>